Hi everyone, this is Rick. This week I worked on an Iron Man 55, very similar to the last book I worked on, which was the Batman 251, only this time I didn't use a mask on the book. Limited myself to just a very little, there's like a very high elevation squirt of the peroxide, which I then, uh, because they're little droplets, I used a, a Kim wipe, it's called. It's a little smooth uh, wipe for a laboratory use, and I just made sure I smoothed it out so there weren't any individual droplets and then I did uh, two hours of the light. But the process was I used the Mackie Clean on the book, uh, wiped it down with a DI water afterwards, and then it gave the book uh, two hours in my Mackie light, which is a 435 nanometer light. It's not quite blue, it's not quite UV, so it's somewhere between, almost exactly in between. And then I, um, then I pressed the book, and that was it. So this will be a shorter video because it's not six, it's not substantially different than my last one, except I didn't use the mask and I used less peroxide. Just, it's hard to, I didn't measure how much, but it was just a couple of small squirts and gave it two hours of light time. The book had a lot of, here's the initial picture of it, I'll show you the initial front. It had a lot of dust shadowing and a lot of uh, dirt on the spine. There were some cracks on the spine in the upper left hand corner too in the cover, like little tears there that the, uh, the owner of this book warned me of, which was nice of him. Uh, so, uh, uh, but they, you can see them more obviously afterwards. It's wider, you know. Then, so here's the front afterwards. Uh, I'll show you that. And here's a front before and after compare. And let's see that. And then here's a rear front and after compare of the whole book. And then I'll show you a close-up of the upper left in the back of the book. And also the upper right corner in the back of the book. Here's a picture of the book in the Immaculate Chamber. It's open, you can see front and back at the same time. If this were a book I didn't want to open, I could either do one side at a time or I would use the Immaculate Cube, which lights up from the book from the bottom, exposes to light from the bottom and the top simultaneously. So uh, anyway, that's it, folks. So that's it, that's the whole process. Not too different than the one I did the previous week, but I wanted to share it anyway because I did it. And uh, I do want to stop and mention that you'll see this split on this cover here. I'll show again on the rear. It looks like it wasn't there before it was. This is the one I'm talking about that the owner warned me of. And I didn't notice any, actually at all, any lightning of the reds and yellows in this particular book. I rarely see it, in fact. And that's, but I, when I make the masks, I do it on a book that's especially expensive or sensitive, like those oranges on the Hulk 181. It really scares me a lot. So I didn't use a mask this time, and it didn't, there was no problem at all. It was, the book seems completely fine to me. So was the book, was the paper stiffer after the peroxide light treatment? Yes, yes it is. I think one of my next experiments is going to be just light for longer and longer exposures, you know, 12, 24 hours. Can I get away with no peroxide at all? And how stiff does the paper get? So that'll be one of the ones I do in the future. So anyway, take care. I'll see you around. And... Uh, have fun. Thank you.